Barbara with Toby's Fund for Reproductive Health Equity. Although it's not worthy of a Google doodle like the important observing of celebrating the Accordion Day on May 24th, there is an Abortion Provider Appreciation Day. It is on March 10th and has been celebrated every year since 1996. I missed it this year, I confess, but thought about it the other day when I was thinking about small acts of kindness that we can do. 30 years ago, I had an abortion, completely legal. I had, two weeks prior, moved to a new state, Colorado, by myself and knew no one. After I arrived, having been extraordinarily regular, menstrually, no matter the outside experiences I was facing, I was confused why my period was not occurring. I was five weeks pregnant. I depended on the yellow pages and had to travel 100 miles to one of the two available abortion clinics in Colorado. This one in Boulder. I made a long distance call on my landline with the clinic to set up the first available appointment. At the time, it was a two-day event. The first day, a natural device was inserted into my vagina and to assist in dilation. I still don't know what it was. But I was told I might start cramping in the middle of the night. I did. Then I left at five the next morning to drive to my appointment. A lovely woman held my hand the entire procedure. She never left my side. I was so grateful. Another kind woman took care of me until we both decided I could make the 100-mile journey back to my new city. This was a Saturday morning, and I stayed in bed and rested until Sunday morning when I returned to work. Years later, I worked at Planned Parenthood in Chicago and encountered an entire agency of kind souls who undoubtedly held a lot of hands. Our lives are full of small acts of kindness in a world where not everyone is doing kind things. I'm grateful every day for that and need to remember it. Every person who gives us money, the donors or the random person who slips cash into our tip jar at an event, or mentions us, or volunteers, or votes, performs a small act of kindness, selfless and good. All the tens of thousands of people who fight every day for body autonomy and reproductive rights for all, and the tens of thousands of providers and handholders, we're grateful. Thank you. I'm sorry for not thanking you enough before. Toby's Fund is dedicated to body autonomy for everyone, regardless of financial need. We collect money from kind donors so that we can assist other nonprofits who provide abortions, emergency contraception, and pregnancy prevention for McHenry County residents. Thank you. Mm -hmm.